What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K2019 video. And guys, today we got a new locker code. We got some market talk, market inflation in this video, guys. Before we get into it, man, make sure to smash the like button. We're on the road to 11K. We're about a 70 subs away. If you guys could smash the sub button as well, 100,000 MT giveaway on Twitter. So make sure to follow the Twitter and Instagram to enter the giveaway. We will have a tweet or IG post very soon on the giveaway, so make sure to smash the sub. 11K subs, man. We're almost there. Thank you guys so much. And yeah, man, we have a locker code, and also we are selling MT on PS4 and Xbox, so if you need PS4 MT, Xbox MT, hit me up. Let's go over this locker code, man. 120 likes in the video. That would be greatly appreciated. Let's get into it, man. Legacy. This code's decent. If you're going for the tokens, I already did this one, unfortunately, but here it is, man. I'm probably aiming for Bill Walton, even though he's probably going to be cheap. And you guys could be sniping these like crazy, making so much MT. Um, the Earl Monroe's, man, they're going to be dirt cheap. But here we go. Legacy-packs-drop-may. I don't know if it's a pack or if it's a player one. I think it's a player one. If it's a player one, that's so fire, honestly. Oh, no, it's a pack. Which one's it? This is a super pack? Oh, wow. This one's an L. I'm going for the Bill Walton. Um, so the red. Uh, that's going to be hard to get. Oh, that's a good drop. That's a really good drop. Oh, we missed it. No, don't give me some Earl Monroe cheese. All right, we got away from the Earl. Could we get something? I'll take a Nate Thurman, honestly. I'll take that. Let's go. Okay, we got the Nate Thurman one. And that one's pretty good. I didn't know it was packs. Ah, these packs are high key ass. Like, let's be real. These packs are just not good. Like, every pack 2K gives us, you just gotta sigh, because they're just so terrible. Here we go, man. Nate Thurman Legacy Pack. Yeah. Like, dude. Mm, that gets me so mad. But okay. Let's get into the auction. Let's get into the market inflation. And then we got investments after this video. You guys are gonna love that. So, let's get into it. So, I was actually looking at the market today, and the market is actually up so much. Only person who's not up a lot is probably... Uh, Clay Thompson. So Clay Thompson's actually dropped. Luca's up a lot. Magic's up a lot. Um, we're pretty much just gonna go everything. Matumbo's up about a hundred k. I don't know why someone wants that Matumbo, but he's up a lot. Blake's around the same. Dirk's around the same. Vince Carter's up a little bit. Bosch is around the same. Clay Thompson. So this is what I've came to the realization of. Right now, all I'm gonna say is the market is honestly at its. I would say at its peak. Like I don't think it could get any higher than this. I honestly think right now, Michael Porter Jr. is up a lot too. Ben Simmons is around the same. I'm going to say this one more time, man. I honestly think that the market is peaked. I think that this is his new value. This is exactly how we're going to see the market going forward until it crashes, which is going to be Friday. So yeah, um, this is it right here, man. I definitely, 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 definitely see it staying right here. This is where it's going to be. So what do I recommend for you guys to make MT? Sell every single card you have including Lamar Odom and Luka Doncic. Actually, no, no, no. I take that back. Keep them. Sell everybody else because I still think they are going to rise in price. That is definitely what I would... That's what I would do. Honestly, everyone's really expensive right now. Everybody is at their max value. I honestly think there's no way they could go higher. We're getting closer and closer to end game. More people are going to buy packs. More people are going to buy MT. The game's about to go on sale. Sell your cards ASAP, dude. I'm telling you right now. You have to sell your cards. If you don't sell your cards, big L. That's what I'm going to say. So sell your cards, get your MT up, and we're going to go over some methods. Since the new Legacy thing just dropped, we're actually going to go over some snipe filters on the new Legacy locker code because why? There's going to be a ton of things in the Legacy promo that's going to be really good, honestly. One person I'm going to say to keep your eyes on is definitely Bill Walton. That card is so rare. The Phil Shane here, whatever the hell his name is too. So here it is. Uh, I did this set already. You want to pay attention to these cards. I'm telling you. They just dropped the locker code. Bill Walton is still so rare. He's going for 154K. Try sniping this out, man. He just got dropped again. We haven't seen that car in a while. Sidney Moncrief. 
These are the cards you really want to pay attention to right now in this day and age. Even George Mike, and you could probably get a ton of diamonds. Earl Monroe's, if you want quick profit, like a thousand per. Right now, man, Earl Monroe's probably popping off on the diamond filter because he's so easy to get. He's so easy to pull. He's in every locker code. And also, man, all your diamond investments have gone perfectly. My boy reads up my a lot of these players that I've said that will go up. All your investments, it's time to sell now. Reads up about a thousand MT from the first time we've seen him. So reads up a lot. Earl Monroe should be popping off the boards. We're actually gonna go over an investment video right after this. Top 10 investments coming at you right after this video. So the diamond filter right now is going to be super hot. Like super hot. Riley, like, dude, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, bro. This filter is going to be absolutely amazing. So let's go over to Pink Diamond Filter 2 because now. They dropped a locker code, dude. Bozos are going to throw pink diamonds for like 8K. Every time they drop a locker code with anything decent in it, stuff gets thrown up for cheap, cheap. So Rod Strickland is going to ruin the filter, but you could still get a ton of snipes on here, man. I'm going to tell you right now, the pink dime filter is money. And also, shout out to one of my subs for saying this. Supposedly, uh, current series 20 uh is balling out right now so let's see man i heard a silver filter has been balling out and honestly yeah it does look pretty deadly i know some silvers definitely go for a lot more than a thousand so if you guys want i would definitely recommend you guys do hit up with this filter this filter is looking pretty deadly i got a catwell pulp right there for a thousand it's probably not even a snipe but we're gonna check out anyways we got the catwell pulp that filter is looking really good and also one other filter i do want to show you real quick is amethyst 20 because people are definitely trying to do this, man. Amethyst 20 has been good all year. Especially if you get <clears throat> Giannis, Curry, some Durants for the low price of like 2K. So, yeah, man. You set it up to like 2,800. You just got to wait for Curry, Giannis, or AD, or LeBron, whatever. The cards go for a lot more than 3K. You can make thousands of MT on this. This, this is crazy because this has been around since day one. I've been repping this filter for a very long time. It's quick, easy profit. Yeah, it was better when they were in packs and whatnot but also we're pretty much just gonna go over filters and some empty methods in this video honestly um another method i've noticed the diamond filter snipe method has been really deadly um so pretty much you just want to try to find snipes on here it's honestly pretty sick um let's see so we got bams we got k loves for 3k i'm telling you man this is a very good way to make mt this is the snipe method right here Pink Diamond as well. Pink Diamond's honestly a little bit better than Diamond because Diamonds don't really go for that much anymore. So Pink Diamonds, man. Um, let's see. There's a lot going on. I'm telling you, man. When the market's flooded, it's definitely a lot better. But this is definitely one of the best MT making methods in the game. Once the game is crashed, like once the market's crashed on a Friday and the market's popping off, it is Monday, it's Memorial Day, so no one's really playing the game, I guess. But yeah, dude, when the market's flooded, the pink diamond and diamond bid snipes are so money and you could just get everything for so, so cheap. Another filter that I've been seeing a lot of people have success on is a 100k opal center refresh. This filter's good. The power forward filter one's good. The small forward filter is good. I just missed a Vince Carter on a small forward one. Um, shooting guard one's pretty decent. Actually, no, the shooting guard one isn't that good, but if you do scroll, you could possibly get something. Point guard one is destroyed because there's a million small point guards for the low price, and Larry Hughes did destroy this one. Uh, let's see if we get something at the end. Imagine we get a dope snipe at the end. Here we go, here we go, nothing. So, small forward, power forward, center. You could honestly even raise it. I think you could even drop it to, like, 92. Okay, all right, yeah, no, no. So, you got to put it a little higher than that. You got to put it to, like, 100 or 99K. Yeah, so 99k, I would say that's a pretty good one. You also have to realize, bro, people are gonna definitely put up their centers, their galaxy opal centers, small forward, power forwards. I'm telling you, man, this filter is good. It's gonna be very competitive, but it's definitely worth a try. I would definitely give it a try. So we got those filters. The heat check filter, like I said, man, I'm trying to get rid of these heat check packs. They're gonna do something with heat check packs coming soon. I promise you. People need to get these sets done as we go to end game. They drop every single pack in a game, and they're gonna make sure of it. So please. Take my recommendation, sell your heat checks, sell your moment cards. Moment cards are going for a lot of money still. I have a ton of current series moments to sell, 46 of them, or about 20 of them to sell. Like these sapphires are going for a pretty decent amount. So I would 110% recommend you guys do this. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more content, guys. Have a good one. Peace.